you know, think about the joy of watching the sea if you live near a coast. And think about the, the swell of a wave and think of the crest and think of the crashing and how each of those aspects of a wave are so pleasurable. It's not like we're looking at a wave and only looking at the product. Like, and first of all, is the product the crest? Is the product the crash? Like what, anyway, what is it? So in nature, we are shown progress and process. There isn't one aspect that's more important than another. That's very helpful for a student with slow processing speed because no one sits on the beach looking at the waves and time them and say, oh, that one's taking two minutes longer to swell. Or, you know, when's the next wave coming? It's supposed to be here already. Like, those aren't thoughts we ever have. So let's take this lesson from nature. We're looking at learning as being a joyful process. And it's a natural process. And we can take these lessons from nature and, and really look at what our children are able to do and protect their self-confidence and their self-advocacy, foster their sense of self and esteem as learners in the world. And we trust that when they become autonomous, they won't need us anymore. But until they're autonomous, they need these supports. I never view them as a crutch.